Welcome to Test Fly RC. In this video, I am going to review and fly the Flight Test Master Series A10 Warthog. And my brother is going to use his 13 Squadron Master Series style Mini Zero that he built to dogfight with my Flight Test Master Series A10. In my previous video, I unboxed the A10 Warthog value bundle and I've built it since then. This is the first flight test design to feature the new symbol mapping system. The symbol mapping system is laser etched instructions onto the pieces of foam board that make up this A10 Warthog. So I will put a link in the description where you can download a symbol mapping key so you can look at it and have a quick reference to what the different symbol mapping symbols mean. This A10 Warthog features a magnetic remo removable nose and two 2207 2400 kV motors. The original A10, that's not Master Series, uh, had like two motors in the front uh, close to the wing and that wasn't totally scale and I like that they made this a little bit more scale by putting the motors hooked to the ducts. And it comes with two 5 inch tri-blade props. This airplane has a 50 inch wingspan and the nose is magnetic so it slides off and the battery goes up underneath here. So another thing that's nice about the A10 Warthog is that it comes with decals and it has a nice mock-up of a Gatlin gun on the front there. So that's a pretty nice scale touch to it and it has master series style shapes on it so it's more rounded compared to the original flight test A10 Warthog that's not master series and the one that's not master series here I have the fuselage of it and you can see here that it's bigger than this one here and I kind of like that the Master Series A10 Warthog is smaller because it's easier to fit in vehicles than this one. Although this one does not have a removable wing like that one did. But at least this one's a little bit smaller and it looks nicer. And some tips that I've learned when building this A10 is that after you glue in the magnets, you'd want to tape over the magnets just to make sure the magnets don't pull out once you put the nose in and when you uh, take the nose off. The ducts were one of the hardest things to build on here, at least for me. And this is my first Flight Test Master Series aircraft to build. And to get it to where it looks really nice and to avoid making a whole bunch of mistakes, you'd want to use masking tape when you do the enclosed shapes like that. Because I made made some mistakes when I didn't use masking tape. And it's okay if you don't use it. It's just that it makes it a little bit easier if you use masking tape because then it can hold it in place for you. And also, another tip that I have is that if you don't have pliers that have nice rubber grippy things for gripping onto the motor so you can get the prop on tight, you could uh, glue little pieces of foam to some pliers and then you can hold it, you can hold the motor, and then you can tighten on the prop. So the plans for the Flight Test Master Series A10 Warthog will probably be released to ground crew and air crew members of the FTCA. The FTCA stands for Flight Test Community Association. For now, you can get yourself a FT Master Series A10 Warthog value bundle at the Flight Test store and I'll put the link to that in the description of this video. Okay. So the battery I'm going to use for this Master Series A10 is a Spectrum Smart 2200 mAh 4S. So I guess it's about time to go and fly this A10 Warthog. And my brother, he is going to fly his 13 Squadron Master Series Style Zero. Mini Zero. Yeah, Mini Zero. And I guess we're going to have like a dogfight kind of thing. We're going to put some uh, streamers on the back of my A10 Warthog. And we're going to see how it goes. 
see how it works. So I'm out here and I'm going to fly my A10, my Matthews A10, and I have some streamers on the back of it. Kind of windy out here. And my brother over there, he has his 13 Squadron Zero, and he's going to try to dogfight with my A10 Warthog and uh, split the, the streamers off of my. Wow, this thing controls with the Oh, dang you! Wow, does, does the zero fly pretty good? Yeah, really good. I, I like this airplane. Wow, here we go, way up beyond the oh, can do vertical. Whoa, look at that! I did a hammerhead basically with the differential thrust. Wow, oh, up. look at that! Oh. Wow. Okay. Where are you and now I'm going to go in like a, a slower different car and see if you can come around me. Let me see. It's so far away, we must have been a little closer. Yeah. Wow. Getting a little closer here. I don't know how low my batteries are. Oh my battery is. Yeah. Oh, there you are, you coming. Oh boy. Oh boy, you almost got me. <laughs> oh, I almost crashed. Oh yeah. <sighs> oh, I almost hit the drone, get real. Oh yeah. Oh, you see that? I didn't want to. <laughs> I think it'd be easier if it wasn't as windy. It's so windy today. Yeah, but this still handling pretty good. This thing's handling pretty good in the wind. Okay. Yeah, okay, we're facing that's, the wind now. That's why I don't have to do as much throttle. I'm not doing any throttle now. Wow. And I'm just sliding. Look at that. Here I come. After you. Oh boy. <laughs> Wow. I almost hit, hit uh, the drone up there. Uh. 
That was a little bit too low there. And fast. Yeah, and fast. Yeah, a little too fast. That was a light cut throttle almost. Oh dear, I'm out of power, I'm out of power, I'm out of juice, I'm out of juice, basically. Coming out of fumes, basically. Oh, that was a little bit too low. Yeah, that was a little bit too low. Okay. Yeah, yours seems to be pretty good. So. Yeah. You go see how mine is. This is only a... Marks of it landing it is uh, probably a little dirty. So this is how it is. Seems to be pretty good. It's just that the canopy kind of came off a little bit, but it's magnetic, so that was a really good design. So it didn't hurt that at all, basically. That was fun. It just basically got a little bit of dirtiness here well, on the Gat Gatlin gun. <laughs> and yeah, this is a pretty nice airplane. It flew so well, well, quite well in the wind, even though the wind was buffeting around kind of a little bit. Uh, it was still, a, I was still able to control it pretty well. Yeah. And this thing can go basically vertical. I think I might have been going vertical there for a little bit. So, or about vertical. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And bye-bye. And happy 4th of July, Independence Day.